Which powerful brooding brother is stronger, Itachi Uchiha, the infamous assassin of the Uchiha clan, both alive in Edo Tensei, or Byakuya Kuchiki, the 28th head of the Kuchiki clan, one of the four great noble clans in the Soul Society, during the pre-thousand year blood war. Starting with Byakuya's speed, Byakuya was able to easily blitch Ichigo, this Ichigo who had previously blitzed a hollow immediately after getting his powers, moving faster than the eye can perceive and appearing behind the hollow. Byakuya is able to keep up with flying hollows, showcasing his impressive speed. Ichigo himself, when countering a Quincy arrow shot by Uryu, although the exact speed was not explicitly stated, they're described as light based by both Urahara during the war arc and in one of the data books, suggesting light speed reactions. Ichigo at that point in time was also able to react to a Menos's Sero, which is stated to be light speed in the data books consistent with previous speeds. Byakuya's speed is even more impressive considering that the Gente Kaijo seal, which limits the captains and lieutenants to 20% of their power in the world of the living. Despite this, Byakuya wasn't struggling to blitz Ichigo who could react to lightspeed attacks. This implies that Byakuya was only using a fraction of his full power. Byakuya casually blitzes Ganju on the bridge in the Soul Society using his Shunpo or Flash Step, and his Senbon Zakura moves too fast for anyone in the area to perceive. The data books do describe Byakuya's Bankai enhanced fight against Ichigo as like lightning, indicating varying speeds, but multiple feats suggest that he can also react to lightspeed attacks. Although Byakuya didn't react to Negacion, a light used to relocate Arankars and Aizen squad, lesser cap and lieutenants could, indicating Byakuya's superior speed. Byakuya can also double the speed of his Senbon Zakura's pedals by using both of his hands, and increase his overall speed 5 to 10 times with his Bankai. He later keeps up with Yami in his Resurrection form, Espada number 0, and the fastest Espada Zomari. He's also able to keep up with Tsukishima, showing impressive combat speed. In terms of destructive capacity and power, Byakuya's Senbon Zakura can tear opponents apart. He has Kido mastery and can create blasts larger than buildings with Haro number 33. He has immense swordsmanship as he breaks Ichigo's sword with his bare hands and can parry blows from other Bankai users, sending Ichigo flying with a sword swing. There's also scaling to Yami, when Byakuya fights alongside Kenpachi to defeat him, Espada number 0, who is above all the other Espada. While Kenpachi is stronger, Byakuya's participation shows a high power level in this fight. In terms of durability, Byakuya protects himself from attacks using Zenbon Zakura pedals, tanking blows from Bankai Ichigo and surviving a full power Getsuga Tensho. He withstands blows from a holified Bankai Ichigo, which adds a significant boost to Ichigo's strength. Strength. This shows that Byakuya can endure attacks much stronger than his own. Byakuya also survives a Grand Reisero from Yami and his Resurrection, a feat indicating extreme durability, as a Grand Reisero has the potential to destroy structures as large as Las Noches. When we consider his abilities, Byakuya is highly proficient at Flash Step, is a Kido Master up to at least 81, including Bakudo number 81, Danku a defense wall, Hado number 33, Sokatsui discharging blue flames, Bakudo number 61, Gikuro Joko a binding spell, and Hado number 4, Byakuya a piercing blue bean, and last but not least, Simbon Zakura Kageyoshi, Byakuya's Bankai, which scatters his sword into thousands of tiny blades, significantly amplifying his offensive and defensive capabilities. Now to the Sharingan master himself, Itachi. When he was alive, when considering his speed, Itachi can vanish faster than the eye can perceive as well. He easily outmaneuvers Kid Sasuke, who would dodge supersonic attacks. Sasuke's Chidori allows him to move faster than the eye can see, which is effortlessly countered by Itachi. And Itachi is able to react to Sasuke's Kirin, a lightning speed attack attack by activating his Susano just in time. As an Edo Tensei, Itachi can keep up with KCM1 Naruto, who blitzes and dodges the Raikage, a near light speed combatant. Itachi reacts to attacks from B, Sasuke Susano, and Kabuto, showcasing his combat speeds and reflexes. In terms of his destructive capabilities, Itachi cuts off Orochimaru's head in his true form, the size of a small mountain. His Amaterasu, or Black Flames, incinerate anything in their path and can dispose of, of large Rinnegan summons. And he also has his Yasaka Magatama, alongside Naruto's Rasen Shuriken and B's Tail Beast Itachi helps destroy Edo Nagato's Shibaku Tensei, a feat demonstrating considerable destructive power. For his durability, Itachi survives a Chidori and Sasuke's Dragon Flame Jutsu. His Susano is able to withstand Sasuke's Kirin, multiple kunai explosions, and, and scales above Kakuzu, who tanked a tailed beast bomb. As an Edo, Itachi has regenerative capabilities, making him even more durable. For Itachi's abilities, he's proficient in various jutsus, including shadow clones, fireball jutsus, and water release techniques. He also has the Sharingan and the Mangekyo Sharingan at his disposal. Itachi Itachi's Sharingan allows him to copy movements and use powerful genjutsu, which gives him access to the Sukuyomi, a powerful genjutsu trapping his opponents in an illusionary world, the Amaterasu, like I said, indistinguishable black flames, and the Susano, a formidable humanoid avatar with enhanced offensive and defensive capabilities. All of that coupled with the Izanami and the Izanagi, which are techniques that can trap opponents in illusionary loops or alter reality at the cost of losing an eye. Now for the outcome, I think it's important
important to equalize chakra and spiritual pressure between the verses, ensuring that Itachi can see Byakuya and their abilities interact effectively. When we compare their speeds, Byakuya's numerous feats show that he is consistently faster, with consistent light speed or faster than light reaction attacks and speeds. Itachi, while considerably fast, caps at near light speed based on his feats with KCM Naruto and the Raikage. When we compare their destructive capabilities, Itachi has shown greater raw destructive power, contributing to the destruction of Edo Nagato's Shibaku Tensei. Byakuya's most destructive feats are more transitive, scaling him to large buildings or potentially small country levels due to his fight with Yami. For durability, Byakuya is able to survive the Gran Reisero, indicating he can withstand immense attacks. Itachi Susano provides strong defense, but his durability without it is much lesser compared to Byakuya's defensive capabilities with his Senbon Zakura. For abilities and general hacks, Itachi's Genjutsu, particularly Sukuyomi, presents a significant threat, potentially incapacitating Byakuya. The Totsuka Blade is another win condition, sealing Byakuya if it lands a hit. However, Byakuya's superior speed might allow him to blitz Itachi before he can use these abilities. And for our final conclusion, Byakuya wins 9 out of 10 times due to his superior speed, strength, and durability. Itachi's hacks do provide him potential win conditions, but Byakuya's overall physical superiority likely means that he can end the fight quickly before Itachi can capitalize on his hacks. Again, this video took a lot of research and effort, so if you guys enjoyed it, do me a huge favor, like, comment, and subscribe for more content. If I missed anything, let me know down below. Join our Discord server, grab some merch if you like it, and I'll see you in the next one.